We're doing sentence corrections for Obama in Wonderland. Now, if you haven't seen the other parts, check out the links in the description box below. And today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to make it a game to see how many points you get in correcting the sentences. So let's get playing. Here is how you can play the game. Each of these sentences is either correct or incorrect. Each mistake that you find, you get a point. Some are bonus points, so be careful. It could be tricky. <laughs> you will be given three seconds to think about your answer, but you can pause the video for more time. Let's begin. This is our first sentence. Hmm, exactly. You'll just have to fight her huge and dangerous dragon, Jabberwocky. There are at least four mistakes, but one of them is okay, but not great. See if you can find it. The first part, hmm. That is a sound that means that you're thinking or you're taking a pause. But in this situation, we don't need it because the rabbit is trying to convince Obama to come help rescue Alicia. So we don't need it. Exactly. You'll just have to fight her. Huge and dangerous dragon. Okay, the ellipsis here is not necessary. What? punctuation is correct. If you said a comma, great. Or if you said exclamation point with a capital Y, that's correct too. So you could say exactly exclamation point, capital Y, you'll just have to fight. Or exactly comma, you'll just have to fight. Remember I said there was one that is not really an error but it's not necessary. Look at the two adjectives, huge and the word dangerous. We can put those two words together. Her huge dangerous dragon. We don't need to say and. We can say, you'll just have to fight her huge dangerous dragon. And there should be a comma after dragon because we have the dragon's name. Jabberwocky. So here's the corrected sentence. Exactly. You'll just have to fight her huge, dangerous dragon, Jabberwocky. Are you ready for the next one? The sentence says, draw, draw. Did you say dragon? The writer of this sentence loves to use ellipsis. We don't need the first one because remember, an ellipsis is a pause for maybe thinking about something or to say there's more information that's not written down or not here. In this sentence, we don't need the first ellipsis. So the correction would be draw with a capital D, the ellipsis, to use as a pause, draw, another ellipsis, which is okay. Did you say dragon? Let's look at the next one. Holy carrots! It's six o'clock already? We must hurry. Let's go! There are two mistakes and one unnecessary thing. Do you know what that is? Okay, so the first mistake is double punctuation. We don't need an exclamation point and an ellipsis. We only need the exclamation point. Then we would capitalize the W in we must hurry. Let's go. Again, 
we don't need that ellipsis. It would be a period or full stop, or you could use another exclamation point. The unnecessary one, or number three, would be, let's go! Those words are capitalized, so we really don't need an exclamation point, or we would just write, let's go, with a capital L and an exclamation point at the end. That exclamation point means that the person is yelling. So capitalizing all of the letters and an exclamation point is a little much. This is our next sentence. Looks like a very deep hole. Naturally, we could say, looks like a very deep hole, but grammatically, it's not correct. So. How many points is it worth? Two. If you said it wasn't grammatically correct, that's one point. And it's missing the punctuation at the end. That would be point number two. And here's how to correct that. This looks like a very deep hole. Adding the word this makes the sentence correct. Number two. Moving that this over to looks like this is a very deep hole. That would be okay too. Or take away looks like completely because obviously Obama is looking into the hole. This is a very deep hole. But why does he say this looks like? Well, it's because he's guessing. He's not sure how deep the hole is. He just knows it's deep, but not how deep. Remember, look like or looks like is a verb to have a physical resemblance to something. If you were falling, what would you grab? For a list of these objects, check out the description box below. I've posted all of the items there. Obama grabs the air horn. This is an air horn. What Obama grabbed is actually called a horn, a stadium horn. I had one as a kid. You could buy them in a toy store, or you could get them at a stadium. Are you ready for the next sentence? Here it is. These things are really loud. Give yourself a point if you said that the sentence is wrong because of the word this. There are two ways to fix this sentence. Number one, if you're going to say two horns, we would say, these things are loud. But Obama has one horn, so he could say, this thing is loud. The exclamation point at the end is fine because Obama is surprised by how loud it is. So the exclamation point is okay. There's only a small error in the next sentence. Can you find it? What is missing? The punctuation at the end. If you said that, give yourself a point. Okay, here's the next one. Good evening, what can I do for you? This sentence is correct. Give yourself a point if you said that. Now you see two questions. Are they correct? If you said yes, give yourself two points because grammatically they are both correct. Here's the answer to the question. Alicia, the Queen of Hearts is holding her prisoner inside her palace. What errors do you see? Obama says, do you know where I can find Alicia? Okay, this is a yes or no question, and we know that by the words, do you. When you hear those two words together, usually you're going to say yes or no. The doorknob didn't say yes. It wouldn't be, Alicia? 
and then give the answer. The doorknob knows the answer. It's not fooling me. So if you said that was an error or a mistake, give yourself a point. That was a little tricky, but if you got it, good for you. That's right. That T should be capitalized. The other one? How do you spell prisoner? That's right. The spelling is incorrect in this sentence. And of course, that missing punctuation at the end should be a full stop or a period. The next one is a question. How can I get to that palace? Can you find the mistake? Grammatically, it's correct. You could say, how can I get to that palace? Grammatically, it's fine. So we could say that that's grammatically correct. However, we're talking about a specific palace. So if you said that the word that is incorrect and you changed it and said, how can I get to the palace? Give yourself a point because that's correct. Or if you said, how can I get there? A native speaker would shorten that and just say, how can I get there? So that one was worth one point. Let's look at the next one. Hmm, you need to go through that tiny yellow door. There are some mistakes. Can you find them? The sound hmm usually means someone is thinking about the answer. But the doorknob knows the answer. We don't need to say hmm. Silly doorknob. And of course, what's missing? Right, the punctuation. So this one is worth two points. So the correct way to say that would be you need to go through that tiny yellow door, period, full stop. Let's look at what Obama says. <laughs> what are the mistakes? The first one isn't grammatically correct, but we may say this when we're confused. Tiny yellow door? But grammatically it's not correct. So that would be the first mistake. We can delete it. The second question, which tiny yellow door? Is that correct? If you said no, it's not, give yourself another point. That's right, which is a choice word, as in which one do you like? In this situation, he should say, what tiny yellow door? Because Obama wants to know the information. What door? We can combine those two to show confusion and ask the question. Tiny yellow door? What tiny yellow door? <laughs> the doorknob replies, the one right behind you. This is correct. Give yourself a point if you knew that. Here's our last one for today. That's funny. I just swear that wasn't there before. Are there any mistakes? That's right. That punctuation is missing. Give yourself a point if you knew that and used a full stop or a period. But what about the I'd, as in I would, a conditional? Is that correct? Yes, it is, because Obama isn't 100% sure. So there's some doubt, that's the condition. Hmm, I'd swear, but I'm not sure. It's not 100%. I would swear, but I'm not 100%. But can we say, that's funny, I swear that wasn't there before. If you changed the I'd to I and made Obama 100% sure, 
then give yourself another point. That's right. You can say I'd if you're not 100% sure. Or you can say I swear because you're 100% sure. <laughs> so give yourself that bonus point. Congratulations for playing this game and winning those points. Now, what do you get for winning the points? Absolutely nothing but education. Now you know how to correct those sentences. That's right. I hope you enjoyed part four and we'll do part five next week. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>